Hello everyone, Second Later here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them fire gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some at the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindleweed. Just need to get the parts. All right. Should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. But at least now I'll be able to deal with these red crystal things. No, I'm not going to talk to the pit master. Can you sort off with that? Oh, those robot kangaroos are called leap lashes. But I need to extract the. Th the coil before killing it. Okay then. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan one of them. My focus can show me where the part is. Use Pridwater ammo to my advantage. the power cell. I can tag it in my focus display. That'll help. I'll have to detach it before the machine goes down. Uh, I think that just means I just need to knock it off. Those legs were built for leaving. There goes the part. Gotta pick it up. All right, cool. That was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. For the igniter. Hey! Yeah, to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting invaluable data. Sure. Whatever you say. Yes! Igniter. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the Horus in the first place. Great. Uh... Okay, how do I...
No, it's a oh, is it attached to my... Okay. Finally. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. <laughs> no, fuck you, Silas. Silence, whatever. Can I? No. Probably a way in there through here. Oh, I need to hold it. That would make sense. <sighs> this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. Where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. We'll do it. Don't you worry, we'll get there. Uh Travis Tate. Right. Okay. Just people who've logged in to visit the facility. Vent panel, door over there. Well, this is familiar. Making my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. What a dick. Most framework cable supporting human weight can be grappled to when in range. I see. Hey, was that it? At least the water's not dangerous, and I can climb back up here. Right now, let's try this way. Yes. Ah. Doors locked. But there's some kind of device. It looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. There we go, we have power.
That did it. That needs another battery. this room for looks like there is another console that needs power there's a couple of consoles that need power this console shut down There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Need power to unlock wherever you are. Fair enough. Heavy shielded. So integrity maintained. Ah. Oh. Okay. So that door now stays open. No, I want you to play the. I want you to play the the thing. I right, got the leap rashes. Have glint hawks again! Yay! My man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to recluse spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples. Well. The costs are off the charts. I'm going to move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Baby Hades is a vile little thing. And it's got to stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line it licks. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes you were working on here didn't fly the coop. You know, like Drax.net-4. I think your boys nicknamed that one the Moldova Brain Hack. That was a clearance level 9 project. Aw, oh, thought you goose scrubbed this place quick and clean. But your pal Trav went over it with a white glove and found the grime. No. He will do just fine for Hades. Later, Teddy Bear. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, foot, no, foot, yeah, this one first. I want to see what you are.
Hey, what goodies do you have? What do we have here. Okay. That wasn't too exciting. I was hoping for like a weapon or some armor or maybe something like that. Oh well. Oh, hello. Oh, boy! I tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rag scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, Paragon, damn near saint, could love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. No worries. Please now I have that letter to you. Uh, in case I mess up, like I almost did just then, I can get back up relatively easily. Ah, I see you. I don't think my poor sister can latch on to that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. Yep. Go on, Aloy, we've got this. I can't make that jump. But if I glide. Oh, yeah. I need to remember I, I, that that is a thing I can do. the door from here. Whew. Well, get me awake. It's fine. Got this ladder here. Ah. There's more of the facility over there. I better take a look. Search around here quickly. No, nope. right, we're good. Let's 
What's in here? There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? I don't know, Aloy. Let's do an explore and find out. Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told them, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. I got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now, but see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> mm, maybe try my focus. What is your end game, Trav? There's data here. Alright, Trav here, dug up some old files from Project uh, Gossamer, Gossamer Thrall, back before Hades moved in. Ted ain't, Ted ain't nearly as thorough as he thinks, what his little uh, doobies had going here. Woo-wee. And using some naughty bits and pieces from the Ram... of the Ramses Project at that. There's the Moldova Brain hack, of course, but also up-and-coming little devils like the no know-it-all... Mima, Mima, or my personal favourite, Sovereign seventy four eighty two. Now that's an apex predator. Assuming control of them, uh, T I do D O bots, I D O bots, and then, and arming them with household appliances. Imagine tidying up after that. Gotta admit, it'd be fun to see them hunt in the wild. Give them a taste of the good life before it's lights out. But nah, I ain't gonna give in to temptation guess that's what I get for hanging around Lizzie or maybe I just don't want to lose that sweet Elysium deal from Travis Tate this place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over looks like this is connected to the door it needs a code to open Wait, 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 wait. 7482? 7482. There we go. Nothing around here. Nothing over there. The deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident. You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. 
Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan, but what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before... Goodbye, Tilda. I'm not little. Time to let go. Elizabeth sounded... sad at the end. I think this was personal. Indeed. Hmm. There's the door. Getting close. Where to drop down, I need to remember that because I keep pressing circle. And that is always a mistake. Shit. Get up there, Aloy. Thank you. There's another thing over there. Hold on. Going down. What's this? Ow. I know what I'm doing. All right. That's just some uh God damn it, there was a ladder there. Another ladder. Perfect. All right. All right. If I fall down again, it should be a bit easier to. Uh, get back across why why I didn't press anything for you to do that but where's the other ladder then oh I see Can we behave this time, please, Aloy?
Yes, there we go. Okay, so much for the flip. Oops. Right here we are. That thing is huge. It looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Like the backup. Start looking. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Doctor Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I'd better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Right. Remember, honchos, that our very necessary security procedures require a complete diagnostic check on both the Gaia and the Hades uh, repositories before each testing cycle. Can I put it any straighter? How about this? Triple check both of those big circular thingies before pressing the red button. Jesus, can't believe I'm the responsible one around here. Okay, green. It's corrupted. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on my own. Detach the cable from the arms coupling. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. Okay. I've got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast super intelligence. It barely expected us. without some functions but there are some functions out there the original ones scattered to the winds when guide blew herself up they could be anywhere you can't find them in time even if you did the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades you have no idea I do a good one but it works West of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the sub functions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other sub functions. I go gather them and rebuild her piece by piece. 
They were clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Ah, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Simons. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. Hey! Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. Think, think, think. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. Is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. <laughs> Excuse me. Another clone. Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Is someone? Something wrong? Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh. No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I need a way out of here. 
console to make it drop more. He's too close. I won't make it. All right. This is an interesting development. Is that supposed to be a weapon? Should've run, little mouse. Can't you figure it out, dumbass? There's nowhere to hide. I'm not trying to hide. Here we go. Yeah, I know. Don't get in the way. Here, I'll give you another uh, it looks like there's two more couplings on the side. Here, fight me! Fuck Not that off. dumb machine! was that? Me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, keep swimming.
Oxygen light, yeah, I know. Are you gonna force me into another hour plus long episode when I want to save it? Damn it, where's the way out? Okay, where do I go? What are you? Oh. Gotta be a way out of here. Stop getting stuck on things and swim, Aloy! Ah, there we go. There we go. Jesus. Swim, Aloy, Jesus. <laughs> Looks like some kind of power room. Lead here. Promising. All right, what am I doing? Ah, here we go. Perfect. 
Yeah, that's not good. All right. I, I found. Shh. It's okay. I'm here. I've, I've got it. Hey, hey, easy, easy there. Hey, 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 it's right here. The way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plain Song. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. She told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As void and limbs with I would like to end this episode. Can we stop with the cutscenes? Still the seed rises as This is the problem with games like this. You can't really I like to keep my episodes at around the half hour mark. But sometimes these games don't really allow for that. She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Verl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. Her name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? to do might look bad but it will help spear
I still need to talk. Of course. But this way. The mountains, west of Plainsong. There trouble out there? The Otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Oh, come on. <sighs> you said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. Wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Ray. And other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all, a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm, a blessed land, providing sustenance for my people until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first. And Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, 
far trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Tha has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Don't be stubborn, Aloy. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you it's just that I... hey there we go Val is that what you were trying to say um yes then I look forward to more conversation Yeah, me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. That's right, do some research while you're healing.
There we go, we're all better. Yeah, and on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.